Alright, today I just wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial on these uh, Cushman Trucksters. A lot of people still have these older ones. These machines are workhorses, especially the older ones. Um, but uh, I just wanted to do a, a quick overview on it because when I first was introduced to it, I was kind of confused on how some things worked on it. So I'm just going to go over some of the basics on it in case you have one. And uh, you just got it, you're on a farm, and you're trying to figure out what's what and how it works. But here it is. This is the uh, truckster here. Three wheels, as you can see. And uh, just some of the basics. You have uh, the controls over here. Now up front here would be your PTO. Uh, you're able to hook up different accessories and attachments to this. So. This has a dump bed on it, as you can see. All right, now, the way the PTO works, if you want to activate it, you push this knob down. If you want to disengage it, you pull it up. And as you see, it's not working now. Disengage. Push it down, and it'll re-engage your PTO. Now, one of the confusing parts over here. Let me see if I can turn some light on. You have two knobs here. Now some of these older models may have the sticker missing or whatever and you may get confused as to what's what. Um, this one here closest to the outside is your throttle. Now when you pull this up you can hear the throttle go up. But also you'll see the pedal go down when I pull up. All right, this I do not encourage to use while you are driving. Um, this will act, uh, act as like a cruise control, so to speak, and you will not have any control over your foot pedal if you have this thing pulled all the way up. And you can go out of control and really hurt somebody. Again, this is only a three-wheeler too, so you gotta kind of keep both hands on the steering wheel. You really only want to use this throttle here if you're running different attachments, maybe you're doing a big wide open field or whatever, and you want to pull this up a little bit if you need more uh, more power to your attachment or accessory, whatever you're running. But for the most part, leave that down if you're just driving around and not really, don't really need that extra power because you could really hurt somebody. This one over here is your governor. This controls your vehicle ground speed. This also, so you can manually adjust this. You really want to leave this alone unless it, you require it for another attachment or whatever. But uh, this will actually allow the machine to operate at uh, a higher speed. So recommended, just leave that alone as well, unless you really need it. And you would adjust both of these accordingly to whatever attachment you have on your machine. Um, we don't really let a lot of people use this machine. Because of these controls, um, we don't want the guys to get hurt. So there's only one or two guys who really allow to use these. Um, and that's basically the control part of it. Uh, also, one more thing here is your uh, your transmission here. So you can push this all the way down, and that's going to change your transmission into a lower gear. All right, you will definitely notice the the difference when you try to drive going to be a lot slower, a lot lower of a gear. When you pull this up, now you can go a lot faster. Again, only recommended if you're cruising around, you got wide open spaces. Uh, typically, we do leave this up though. Um, typically, we do leave this up, the operator that uses it. Um, very careful so it's okay up there but if you are doing a lot of uh, towing or you got a heavy load on here and you need that uh, pulling power you want to push it down over here is your transmission now there is a clutch so let me get up here you push your clutch in reverse is going to be pushing down on this and forward and that will put it in reverse all right, that's neutral, right back to the center. 
Now your first gear is just pushing forward. That takes you off in first. And then when you drive and you need to shift, well, I don't really want to do a tutorial on how to drive a clutch, but you naturally push the clutch in when you got to shift and just slide back in the second. All right, now you do have a really super low gear on this, which would be down and back. And that would take you off in a extremely low gear. Um, you can use that if you're stuck or you're gonna pull something or whatever. Uh, if you, or if you just need to take off and put a little bit of pulling power. Um, but that's it, that's how that works, very simple. And up here is your gauges, not all of them are working on this. You got your speedometer, you got your fuel, your amperage, which isn't, doesn't appear to be working on this one. Your water temperature, headlights, and of course your ignition switch. Your emergency brake. And uh, this is a pretty good machine. This will actually tow about 2,900 pounds. The machine itself, I think, is only about 1,600 pounds. Uh, there's a gas tank on this side. Starter right there. If you need to get to the motor, there's two ways. You could just lift up this seat to get into the motor, or you could also lift up this entire frame here, and this whole thing will fold forward. Get in there, really easy access. That's it. And you also have a uh, go around back here. You got your hitch right there. Comes in handy if you need to tow additional uh, wagon or trailer or something. But that is the Cushman Truckster. Tailgate's on upside down. And uh, this thing's a workhorse. Here's the newer model. And everything is still pretty much the same on this one. Um, up here on the dashboard though, you have the same thing that was over here, but on the newer one, it's up on the dash. And uh, instead of your gear shifter being over here, it's over here. Uh, pretty cool, but it all operates pretty much the same. And this one's got a spreader on the back of it. And to lift up your seat on this one, you have a latch and a handle. Slide forward to get into the motor. All right. That is the tutorial on the Cushman Trucksters. See you next time.